All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Maxter uh, One Touch 3. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get this warranty seal sticker out. All right. Obviously, this drive is super old, so there's no warranty on it anymore. So we just got to get this sticker out so we can remove the screw. Um, you technically don't need to, like, peel this thing off. You can just stab the screwdriver into the screw, and then you can... Get it out that way but i want to try and get this little circle out if possible but i don't know it looks like it's not going to completely come off okay slide it out okay, okay there we go all right so we got that most of that sticker off we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws. All right, so I'm using a PH2 or JS2. I think it's PH2. All right, let's go ahead and remove those screws. Keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern. I remove them. All right, so there's those two screws. I don't see any other screws on here. So let's see if we can slide the cover off or something here. Or can it somehow pop this cover off? Okay, I think this cover pops out. You can see, I can get my fingernail in there and we can pop this out. And there we go. Now it looks like this kind of just flops out. I don't know if there's anything else special going on here. Uh, hmm. My fingernail's down, these sides here. Um, looks like it's held in with something. I don't want to just yank it out and then risk damaging something, but the screws were just holding this, so I don't see it holding anything else. So my guess is these have to come out first. Hmm. All right, how will we get this out? So this pops out like that. Uh, most likely the, there's clips here that are going to end up breaking. Um, I can actually see some clips in here. So there's a clip in there, all right, and we're going to try and push that clip in to see if we can pull the cover out, so I can't even really reach it. Yeah, I don't know, this is, this is not popping out easily, and I don't see a way that this is going to just come out easily either, so if I just pull this, it's probably going to end up snapping something. I might have to let them know that if I pull this apart, it's likely not going to go back together the same way ever again. But let's see here. I do see a clip in there, but it doesn't want to move at all. Let's see if I can use this to push that clip. Sorry, if I go out of view, it's hard to see what I'm recording at the same time. Nope can't really push that clip so yeah I don't know how you would remove that I'm gonna have to let the customer know that I'm probably gonna end up having to like snap all this stuff off because from looking at it there's clips in there that I'm not gonna be able to push you need some kind of special tool to kind of push those clips in I think yeah I don't have anything that can really reach that so I'm probably going to end up having to just snap it to get it out. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to see what the customer wants to do. All right, so he basically said, well, I get, there's no choice, so might as well. I mean, we got to do what we got to do. All right, so I'm thinking if I snap, we'll, we'll try one side first because they look to be about the same on both sides. And also, if I break the clips here, at least the screw will hold it. So... Let's try and just pull this up. Okay. And, huh. Okay, it actually looks like it should have slid, but I couldn't slide this down, okay? So from looking at this clip, it looks like if you can somehow slide it down, maybe you can pull it out. No, actually, no, well, yeah. I don't know, but it won't slide or move anywhere. So, yeah, I guess we have no choice. We're just going to rip this thing out, I guess. 
and hope for the best. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, this definitely looks like it should slide down, but it doesn't slide down. So I don't know if there's something else holding it or what. But uh, I don't see any other way to do this. It looks like if this was off, then we could slide it down. But I don't know how you would get that off in advance. Okay, again, there are these clips in here that I'm going to now try to push in. Now that I have a little more room. And let's see if we can actually push those down to unclip it. I think you probably need a special tool that can make it easier to reach this. Hmm. Even with it removed, I can't. Yeah, these clips don't want to come out at all. Jeez. I'm not sure what else to do here. Come on. There we go. So I got that one clip to release there. Yeah, I think if I can get all these clips to release, but I don't know how you would do that without ripping this thing out first. Hmm. Yeah, that's not possible. I do have to. Like, okay, you can see I released that one. So this is coming out. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can somehow do the other side. See, there's no way. I think you have to like rip those out, sadly. I don't know how else you would do it. I think I'm just gonna have to just pry this out and that's sadly how it's gonna be, okay? so. We'll rip this side up as well. Hmm. Doesn't want to come out. All right, let's go ahead and rip this side up as well then, because we can't get it to go any other way. Since the drive or the enclosure itself is already dead, then it's not that important to keep it all intact, I guess. Let's see that side's out. Let's try and get this one out. Got to push on the little clip in there. I know you can't really see, but hopefully if you're working on yours, you can kind of get the idea. All right. Come on. Jeez. And these clips hold really strong too, so it's not easy to get this out. Oh, I think that clip broke off. Yeah, I think we're going to end up just breaking every single clip in here because we don't want to come out easily. All right, well, let's just rip it open then. Okay, so there's that. And then now we can get this piece out. There we go. And now we have access to this. All the little plastic bits are falling out everywhere. Okay, I'm sure there should be some way to get it out, but this drive is so old and dead, it's not worth attempting. All right, you can see now you can actually see the clip. So basically what I was doing is pushing down there and then that lets you release the clip, you see? I don't know why some of them, they weren't coming out, but anyways, same thing with that clip. Push it down and then pull this. Nope, don't wanna come out, this side. Come on. I think I'm going to have to break that clip as well. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out. Jeez. Let's see if I just, I guess we're just going to break those clips, right? Come on. Yep. It doesn't want to come out. We're just going to have to break those clips. Here. 
this one doesn't want to come out. Yeah, I give up. Let's break the clip. There's no point trying to save it. Well, actually, it survived. All right. There we go. There's some adhesive also holding that down. You can see multiple screws here. So these four are holding the hard drive to this metal plate. Um, let's go ahead and remove the two here and see if that allows us to open up the metal box. Right. And you can see we can kind of open this. Are there screws on this side as well? Oh, the adhesive is making it a pain. I think there's screws underneath this adhesive stuff here. So we're gonna have to peel this out. Yep, two screws. Okay, again, this thing's dead, so I'm just gonna toss that stuff. Two screws, we'll remove those as well. Okay. Alright, so we got those two screws out there. Set that aside. There you can see it went into that. You also have this for the uh I don't know what that button's for. I don't think you have access to that. Right? When the case is all on. Oh, when the case is all on, that's the one touch button that goes up there. Alright, anyways, this is one of the old IDE hard drives, so Hopefully my adapter is going to work okay. I have one that connects that, and we're going to undo all these screws here, okay? I'm going to be careful because the drive will fall down, so I'm going to get my hand underneath. Hold on to the hard drive here. Get all these screws out. Okay, so now we've got the hard drive screws. We should be able to lift this up. Okay. Oh, but this board is kind of holding it down. So we're going to have to undo those screws as well. A lot of pieces to this thing. I hope the hard drive's okay. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth it. All this was for nothing if that's the case. All right, so now we can lift this. We should be able to get it out, get the wiring out of its way. Okay, go up at an angle here. And now we can get this whole piece out. We're gonna have to remove this board. Okay, take that out and then take this out. There's a four pin Molex. This is a three and a half inch, 3.5 inch SATA hard, I'm sorry, IDE hard drive. So there we go, we have the hard drive. I'm gonna test this with my external adapter and if it works, then we should be good to go. Um, if the drive works, you can use like a external enclosure. Uh, ID enclosure or you can use like a USB adapter which requires external power All right, so I'm going to test that we're going to take this little foam thing off because it's not being used in this enclosure anymore And we'll test it out. All right, so that's pretty much it I'm not going to reassemble it just because it's all broken anyways um, But if you want to reassemble it uh, just do everything in reverse Although if this case is bad, then there's no point reassembling it. Just get an external enclosure and put it in there. All right, that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, like, comment, subscribe. Share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.